Just heard of some, uh, maybe multiple individuals shot in East New York. We're headed there now. Looks like seven shots. Yeah, I've been shot before. I know how it works. Possibly up to three people shot. We got one confirmed uh, male shot multiple times to the chest. Female stabbed. Critical condition. Rushed to hospital. Some uh, evidence in the lobby. Some blood. It's crazy, man. I'm sorry, what was the question? Like my reaction? Um, it's sad. It's sad, I'm frustrated, I'm angry. The only thing I can think of is like, why, why hasn't Mayor Adams done more than just pushing people out of their homes, you know? He thinks solving this crime problem is hurting homeless people. Um, but in reality, you need to you need to hurt the people that hurt us. You know, um, I don't even I don't even know what to say about that. Um, but more needs to be done. More needs to be done because our kids are the ones who are on the forefront of this. This happened feet away from a school. Gennaro, hey, buddy. You're on camera. Thankfully enough, you know, Gennaro was okay. Um, I was worried sick about him the whole day. So, so what was your experience? I, I, I just got uh, 
I just got word about it. I didn't really. This is your brother? There was an announcement that they were doing a shelter in. Squats, whatever they are. So, uh, where, where did you hear the first instances there was a shooting in the subway? Oh yeah, my, my friend um, told me that uh, he saw somebody uh, just laying down with their, with their leg, uh, with their laying, oh my god, I can't hobble English. Um, they Your saw somebody like bleeding out on their leg, yeah, yeah, because he takes the train, Okay. I think. So like he saw like, you know, the wounded or injured. Yeah. And like, uh, you learned it from him, right? Yeah. Um, what is his like reaction to it as well? Like, like obviously, like I probably saw him. Um, he, he's kind of like, honestly, I think he was like nervous or whatever. New Yorkers about an active shooting incident that took place this morning inside the 36th Street subway station on the N line. I want to begin by assuring the public that there are currently no known explosive devices on our subway trains and this is not being investigated as an act of terrorism at this time. We can also report that although this was a violent incident, reportedly we have no one with life-threatening injuries as a result of this case. This investigation is only hours old, so please note this information is subject to change. Just before 8.24 this morning, as a Manhattan-bound N train waited to enter the 36th Street station, an individual on that train donned what appeared to be a gas mask. He then took a canister out of his bag and opened it. The train at that time began to fill with smoke. He then opened fire, striking multiple people on the subway and in the platform. Again. We will describe him as an individual. He is being reported as a male black, approximately five feet, five inches tall with a heavy build. He was wearing a green construction type vest and a hooded sweatshirt, the color is gray. 
At this time, we are working with our federal partners where we are asking for the public's help. Anyone with information, videos, or photographs, no matter how insignificant they think it may be, is encouraged to call Crime Stoppers at 800-577-TIPS. All calls are strictly confidential. I'd like to turn it over to the FDNY to give information about the victims. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. The governor would like to speak now. Governor Holcomb, my apologies. I'm sorry. Uh, good afternoon. This morning, ordinary, ordinary New Yorkers woke up in anticipation of a relatively normal day. They left their homes en route to school, en route to their jobs, and to a normal day, as I mentioned. That sense of tranquility and normalness was disrupted, brutally disrupted, by an individual so cold-hearted and depraved of heart that they had no caring about the individuals that they assaulted as they simply went about their daily lives. This individual is still on the loose. This person is dangerous. They're asking individuals to be very vigilant and alert. And you'll get more reports on specificity as the day goes on. So this is an active shooter situation right now in the city of New York. I just got off the phone with the mayor. He's recovering well, he is monitoring, he's actively engaged in the situation. I wanted to let him know that the people of the entire state of New York stand with the people of this city, this community, and we say no more. No more mass shooting. No more disrupting lives. No more creating heartbreak for people just trying to live their lives as normal New Yorkers. It has to end, and it ends now. And we are sick and tired of reading headlines about crime, whether they're mass shootings or the loss of a teenage girl or a 13-year-old. It has to stop. I'm committing the full resources of our state to fight this surge of crime, this insanity that is seizing our city because we want to get back to normal. It has been a long, hard two years. That's what we crave, that sense of stability and normalcy. And this is what the mayor and I are going to continue to work for. And I thank the partners, the brave people of the MTA, the first ones who had the sense, the drivers of the train, to leave the station to make sure no more victims could be hurt. The NYPD, FDNY, state police, everyone involved in this has one purpose and has to stop the insanity of these crimes. You'll hear now from our fire department. I want to thank them for being there to help us defuse a volatile situation. But we'll be giving continued reports as this day unfolds. Again, we ask everyone to be careful, be cautious, report what you see. It is likely that someone out there listening to this is going to help us lead us to that individual. You have a description of what they're wearing. You know the details. But this is the day we pull together as New Yorkers, united in a common purpose to say no more. And that is what I'm going to continue to do as the governor of the state of New York, working with our local partners right here. Thank you. Governor, good afternoon. This morning, the FDNY received reports of gunshot victims in the subway. Thanks to their quick response, we were able to treat 16 patients. Ten of those patients are suffering from gunshot wounds at this time, and five of them are in critical but stable condition in our local hospital. Can you say that again? Yes, we have 16 total patients. Ten of them are suffering from gunshot wounds, and five of them are in critical but stable condition at this time. I'm going to pass it over to the MTA for an update on their subway. Okay. First of all, we have to thank the NYPD and the FDNY and the whole team who've done so much to protect us and help immediately to recover from this situation. And I also need to acknowledge the MTA workers who had were, were had the, the, thought, the foresight to immediately move a train that was on the platform, the R train, out of the station so it could carry people to safety. That was, that was smart thinking. Right now, uh, B service is suspended, W service is suspended, the D and the N and the R are running with suspensions and some shuttle buses, um, and folks should check the website for latest. Obviously, it's a disrupted uh, day, um, but a lot of the system is, in fact, running. 
Um, I just want to say one thing on a personal note, which is on 9-11, I stood on 4th Avenue and watched people, New Yorkers, come back from that tragedy. And I thought, I watched New Yorkers help each other and storekeepers walk out and give people water. That was the same thing we saw on the platform today. We saw New Yorkers in a difficult situation, an emergency, helping each other. That's the subway riders. That's who New Yorkers are. Every day they're showing people in the subway, which is our public space, that New Yorkers of all varieties can come together in small spaces and get along and create something bigger. That's what we remember in these emergencies, as well as the tragedy and the thought for the, for the quick recovery of the victims. Because New Yorkers are incredibly resilient, just after, as they are in every emergency. And we thank them for what they've done. And we thank the governor and the mayor for their leadership in all of our recovery from COVID and from every one of these challenges. So just to reiterate, we're going to be li very limited in what we are able to answer in questions. Uh, just to also underline our partners here, we got Mike Reagan. Uh, Mike Reagan is the assistant special agent in charge of the Joint Terrorism Task Force with the FBI and NYPD. John DeVito from ATF, who's helping us with tracing efforts and investigation. Uh, he's the special agent in charge for New York City. We have the Brooklyn District Attorney, Eric Gonzalez, who is also here. And, uh, of course, Chief Ken Corey, Chief of Department, and First Deputy Commissioner Ed Caban. Uh, we'll start off with questions for the Police Commissioner. Just heard of some, uh, maybe multiple individuals shot in East New York. We're headed right there now. Looks like seven shots. Yeah, I've been shot before. I know how it works. Possibly up to three people shot. We got one confirmed. Uh, male shot multiple times to the chest. Female stabbed, critical condition, rushed to hospital. Some uh, evidence in the lobby, some blood. It's crazy, man. 